This is Notability's biggest update this year. As usual, we are super excited about it. For those of you that have been wondering about whether or not Notability has ever sponsored us, this is the first video they've ever sponsored on this channel. Hey guys, it's Rob Zipak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic one, welcome back. After years of asking, asking, and asking, Notability finally said yes to better page customization. How exciting is that? You can still create a new notebook with a single tap, but for more options, long press the pen icon. Templates unleash a new experience of creating notebooks in Notability. We now have page sizes, A7 to A3, legal, tabloid, and letter, which is optimized. We're still to determine what optimized means. We'll probably cover that in another video. The first size we tried, of course, is the smallest. It's difficult to appreciate these paper sizes when you don't know how zoomed in you are on the page. Notability has always snapped at 100% zoom, but that was easier to appreciate when we had one page size. For now, we'll stick with A4 paper because we are familiar with it, but we hope that our developers can show us zoom percentages when we zoom in and out of these pages. We now have landscape mode, which means no more turning your iPad to write on landscape paper. For now, all the pages in your notebook are either landscape or portrait and you can't change them. So we hope to have that feature in the future. We now have more line spacing options for basic paper templates, the ones we've always had in the application. You can now choose the line spacing for your paper template from 1 to 10. What are the chances you'll need more? This covers a very wide range of line spacing options and this is awesome. Your page color is no longer limited to the 15 colors we had before. You can now use all the color options in the application, which are the color options for your pen tool. If you ever wanted more colors in the application, you will love this. Notability now has more paper templates for education, creativity, and planning. At the moment, these have limited customization, unlike the older templates. We hope to have more colors and line spacing options in the future. It's still exciting to see more templates in Notability. Page rotation is now available for PDFs, which are non-native paper templates. We're happy to see that we can now rotate pages in PDFs and other documents in Notability, and we look forward to having that for native pages too. Multiple page selection now lets you select multiple pages for editing in Notability. You can then copy, paste, Duplicate, rotate, copy background, clear page, or delete, whichever you want. We have suffered from lack of multiple page selection, and our developers have finally done something about it. You can now add folders within folders up to five levels. For those of you that wanted more organizational levels in Notability, they have delivered. We have begged for these updates for years. Naturally, we are ecstatic about them. The Notability Gallery is a new feature that lets you browse and save other people's study material or templates. It explains why Notability had us creating Notability accounts a while back. They've been working on this for months. You can browse through the topics in the gallery. At the moment, there are few, but we're sure they will increase as more people start sharing their notes. You can also search for topics or tags and filter to see popular and recent documents. When you tap to view a note, you get a short summary about the notebook. You can then download the notes as a PDF or note. Notability makes it very clear what document you're downloading and we like that. If you want an editable version of the notes, you can download a note version. For simple annotations, you want a PDF version of the notes. You can also share or like the notes. You can preview them on a bigger screen before downloading. Your profile is very simple in the Notability Gallery. It displays your published, favored, and downloaded notes. 
you can also easily browse to see all the notes by different specific users. You can publish your notes from the homepage or the application's workspace. When you choose to publish to the gallery, you then add a topic, which is the category of your notes, a description, which is optional. You can also add tags, which are also optional. It's simple, minimalist, and straightforward. Notability continues to be committed to minimalism, and it is one of the things we love about the application. The biggest and most depressing update with version 11.0 in Notability is Notability's business model. Notability is now a freemium app with a yearly subscription. The freemium version has limited editing abilities, where the application tracks your ink allowance per month. To help you fully understand this, we will cover it in a separate video. For $14.99 a year, which is currently on sale for $11.99, you get an unlimited note-taking experience and access all the items in Notability Plus, which means all the stuff that are currently in the Notability shop will be available for the subscription. You guys know how we feel about subscriptions. We've talked about them a lot of times on this channel. Subscriptions are not sustainable. The Notability Shop was a good idea. Subscription, not so much. Here's the math. Notability cost me $14.99 some five years ago, and it supported family sharing. Now it costs $14.99 a year. Everyone in my family uses Notability. Everyone on our team uses Notability without family sharing. So that means we have to pay subscriptions for everyone now. Notability Plus is only going to be available for free to old users for a year. Notability should have at least let old users keep their Plus features for a lifetime with new features available for a subscription. Just how many subscriptions can you sustain to keep using your iPad? How do you feel about this subscription? Let us know in the comment section down below. We hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.